Hey YouTubers, Roland Martin here. I'll tell you what for today, I want to show you how to cast farther than you've ever casted before, possibly, because I'm going to show you the advantages with the right kind of rod, the advantages with the right kind of cast, and the advantages with the right kind of line. So let's start off with the number one type of rod and reel for freshwater fishing, and that's a, a freshwater spinning rod and reel and this is the 2500 series, which is the standards freshwater size. And that's a six and a half foot spinning rod. It's one piece by favorite. It's a beautiful rod. I use it a lot all the time. Now, most people, when they go to cast, will merely hold the line like this and they'll cast with one hand. Okay, that's fine. And they get pretty accurate with it. Personally, I don't cast with one hand. Personally, I cast with two hands for a couple reasons, and I'll explain that in, a, in just a second. But what I'll have here. As soon as I get this line up. That's the other thing. I had monofilament on this rod. Now monofilament is a little fluffy. Monofilament kind of jumps off the reel a little bit. Monofilament doesn't lay as, as good as, as, as braid, but it is actually better than, than fluorocarbon. Fluorocarbon is even more of a problem. But let's just take the middle of the road monofilament, 14 pound test line. That's the number one size line for most freshwater fishing is 14 pound test. Okay, that's a standard 14 pound test monofilament line. Let's take it with one hand like we normally cast, and I'm just gonna throw it out there just pretty far. I'm just gonna put it down for just a second. I'll hold it my finger. One-handed, I'm just gonna make a nice long cast as hard as I can throw. Okay, I, I see right where it is. I'm gonna lay that rod down. I see right where it is. It's right towards that big tree out there. And now I'm going to take these other two rods and I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to talk a little bit different about the rod. First of all, let's talk about a seven foot rod versus a six and a half foot rod. A seven foot rod theoretically gives you a little bit more tip speed and theoretically a little bit more distance. Okay, that's one thing about a seven foot rod. The other thing about this rod and reel, this is again a 2500 series reel, the exact same reel. And this is, again, the exact same lure. This is a Zayco by, by the Yamamoto. It happens to be on a 4 aught hook. But they're all three of these rods have the exact same lure, the exact same hook. So they have the exact same weight. Okay, so now I'm going to throw this one. And this is a different kind of line. Before I had 14-pound monofilament. Now on this rod, I have 15-pound braid. This is a, just a standard braid 15 pound test it's kind of a green moss color now in addition to that it's a seven foot rod it's braid I'm going to take the line and the rod and I'm going to hold it like this because I like to hold it with my hand for two reasons number one I guide the rod into a more accurate cast that's the first reason why I hold it like this and the second reason I can kind of I get more power with two hands I can just whip it farther so now I'm going to let about two feet of line dangle, like it, like it is, about two feet of line dangling. And now I'm going to throw it towards that same big tree again. I'm going to hold it hard, and I'm going to cast hard. Okay, now, put that rod down. That's pretty cool. That's pretty good. Okay, talk about the third rod. The third rod is a saltwater rod. It's one that uh, Favorite makes. It's for the old Salty series. It's, uh, it's on a 4,000 or 5,000 size reel. It's a reel is quite a bit bigger. The spool is quite a bit bigger than the 2,500 reel. It's the same 15 pound test braid. The guides are possibly a little bit bigger, but it's set up, it's a longer rod. Instead of being seven foot, it's seven foot eight inches, so it's a seven and a half foot rod. So it's a saltwater rod I use for red fishing and for snook fishing. And when we're in the saltwater flats, I want to throw a long ways because the fish are spooky and they're way out there. Okay, so this is my really long distance rod. Again, I'm going to hold a, a couple feet of line like this. I'm going to. I'm going to wait just a second because the wind's blowing. I want to get all things even and equal. Let that thing be about two and a half foot off the rod tip. As soon as the, rod, as soon as the wind kind of stops, I think it stopped, I'm going to take the lower hand right here and I'm going to power cast it as far as I can. Now, we're going to go out there now and see where all the lures are. 
because I'm going to say we considerably outcasted the monofilament. And the longer saltwater rod probably outcasted the shorter freshwater rod. Let's go find out. Let's go look at the lures. Okay, I'm going to take steps. I'm going to do this in yardage. So I'm going to, I'm going to be counting yardages. One, two, three, four, twenty. One, two, three, four, twenty-five. Twenty-five yards right here. Twenty-five yards. That's seventy-five feet. Okay? Seventy-five feet. Let's find the next one. Thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five. Okay, the second one was thirty-five yards. That's ten yards farther. That's thirty more feet. So the first one was seventy-five feet. This one's a hundred and five feet. Okay? That's the third one. And that's thirty-five yards. Let's go 36, 37, 38, 39, 46, 47 yards, 47 yards. You know, that's almost 150 feet. That's only, that, that's 140 feet, over 140 feet with a long cast. Now that's a long ways. I'll tell you where that comes in, into play. If you're a tournament fisherman and you've got a partner that's seeing a fish up ahead, you can outcast them, number one. Okay? If you're a saltwater fisherman and you're on a flat and there's a big school of redfish so far away and they're so spooky, you need a long cast to get to them. That's the way we catch them. Long cast. Okay? And the third thing is, sometimes you're in shallow water. Sometimes you can't get any shallower. Sometimes the boat won't get any shallower, yet the fish are shallower. And you need that 140, 150 foot cast just to reach the fish. So there's a lot of advantages for long distance casting. You catch more fish. It's just a better way, and I hope I've taught you, taught you a few things or two about your casting. I post every Wednesday about six o'clock. I post every Sunday about six o'clock, and then I have a Friday update for the weekly report. Listen, I thank you for subscribing, and please watch, and we'll see you again soon.